So what's giving you the idea that uh, we are in a, a climate crisis right now? And I've had a condominium in San Francisco for 20 years. And for the first time in 20 years, I have to buy a freaking air conditioner. And that really aggravates me. Every once in a while, we puppeteers or orchestrators have to come down off of our ivory towers and tune things when they get a little screwed up. Because right now, we're at the edge of the Petri dish of civilization. If you don't know what geometric growth is, if you failed math, you're gonna learn firsthand what geometric growth really, really means. We are destroying our environment, our planet Earth. But then again, maybe we're not. Maybe there is no global warming. What do you do in that situation when you really don't know? You do what any good investor would do, is you bet on both of them. Republicans are gonna win, are the Democrats gonna win? Come on, we give money to both. We orchestrators laugh when people think there's any difference between Republicans and Democrats. That's a joke. So I'm gonna put my money all around. I'm gonna place my chips all around. And the key thing to remember is when you're placing many bets, the house always wins. And we really don't know what's going on here. But one thing we do know is if half the population thinks they're global warming, we're gonna make money off of it. And we're gonna invest money off of it. I'm an investor, right? Now, it's not unreasonable for me to take some of those profits and put it into a climate mobilization group if there's a possibility that the world is being destroyed. A good lobbyist such as myself is also always gonna be a good investor. Investor and lobbyist are one and the same. You can kick me out because you think I'm dirty, but I ain't bullshitting you. Would you consider yourself to be a pro-environmentalist, or, uh, or are you on the side of uh, many other capitalists who believe that environmentalists basically just get in the way and they're full of nonsense? This country is driven by capitalism. And if you're not making money for people, you're not in the game. These are two entirely different questions. Because it's entirely possible for somebody to be into making money and to also be an environmentalist. Do you want to start a people's movement to actually save the environment? I'm not talking about hanging around and singing songs and just talking incessantly amongst yourselves. I'm talking about an action group that actually creates change. And let me tell you something that we people in power always bank on. Environmental movements, grassroots movements, always get nothing done. And the reason why they get nothing done is because you actually need somebody who's a good manager. And by the way, good managers need to get paid. Sure, I'm an environmentalist. Sure, I want to save the planet. But I want to waste my time dealing with people who don't know what they're up against. You're talking a big game, but I mean, like, how much money can you sort of bring to the table? You know, like Me personally? Yeah. yeah I'm not right. putting any money in. Or, you know why? I'm not putting any money in because too much money makes you dumb. You want money from an investor? An investor puts money into a team that hasn't delivered any results, you're just flushing the money down the toilet. People get money when they deliver results. When you know what to do with your money, when you know how to partner with business, to get things done, you get some money. Find some solar energy companies. Find some people like Elon Musk. Find some people who are willing to be as organized as the oil lobby to go up and get the business in Washington going the way it needs to go. Figure out how you can become the operator and the puppeteer. Grab the reins of the marionettes and play them.